Hey friends, I've got a really fun video for you today since you've already made our yes, new rescue video. So I am going to give you my perspective on Mr. Angel. It is a very chilly day, but he has a lot of wool, so he's perfectly fine. He's still in the stall. We're uh, kind of that quarantine simmer down process for him right now. Hi, buddy. Hi. So if you haven't watched Ellie's video, which I don't know, if I don't, I guess, um, I don't know how many of my viewers are not also viewers of Ellie. Okay, I'm gonna stand over here while I'm talking. All right, so we went and picked up Angel from a really good situation yesterday. Um, he has people that love him, but they just can't keep him. And especially with him being special needs, sometimes you have to evaluate the time that you have for special needs animals. And sometimes you just don't have it, and that's okay. So Angel's getting his best life here. Um, we are going to respect his family's privacy, and um, knowing that he came from a great situation is, and is coming to an even greater situation, I hope everybody has nice things to say because the people that we got him from are amazing. Seriously, really good people. But that said, Angel does have a disability, and it's a pretty hefty disability, but it does not impede his daily life. He just has to do things a little bit differently. So Angel, when he was a baby, he was attacked by a coyote. How old was he? he was, I don't remember how old he was. He was like just a little baby. He was little. Yeah. Um, and a coyote got him, and actually, I don't know the full details of it, but I know it got around his mouth and his neck which caused his jaw, I don't know if it's like officially broken or what the actual like terms of it are, but his jaw is off centered. Now, sheep never would be a good animal to have here at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. If you know anything about sheep, you would probably say that, except for like the exception of Sam the Ram that Kim has, he's a special sheep, um, uh, this breed of sheep, they actually don't pull up, he doesn't pull up the grass. But other sheep do, and so that's why we've never had any sheep, why me and Ellie haven't gotten any sheep, even though we've wanted them, because, you know, we're, there's always people getting rid of sheep um, in bad situations and such, but we've never actually took on a rescue sheep before, because they don't fit what our pastures can handle. They're like, they're littles, so they should go with the goats, but they tear up the grass like horses and donkeys do. They pull up on it which doesn't work in a little's pasture because in the little's pasture, we need animals that are clipping the grass. Goats clip and sheep and horses, they pull. And so when we heard about Angel, we are like, I would love to, but we need to go meet him first and talk about logistics with him. And so that's what we did before Christmas. We went and we met and we talked about him and we found out that he's actually the perfect fit for us. So because of his disability, he can't pull the grass. He can't grab small things like that. He can only clip, and even at that, it has to be really tall for him to clip. So, hay is a huge part of his diet and grain. So, that said, we're going to have to make some changes around here. Um, not with the hay. He'll always have hay, as you can see. Um, he really likes this hay as opposed to the alfalfa, which I thought was really strange. But um, his previous owner told me that he um, hasn't had alfalfa before, and he's been on this kind of coastal... Like sit, buddy. No, I'm fine. Um, coastal, whatever this, the horse hay is. So, Angel is the perfect fit because he can't pull hay. Now, I said he's special needs. So, the part that makes him special needs is because he doesn't follow a normal sheep's routine. And because his jaw's off center, his cud drips down onto his neck. Now, that means we're going to have to do um, cleaning every day and then a high-maintenance cleaning weekly because we don't want it to get stuck in his wool and it just gets kind of gross and uncomfortable for him now had to make the decision I didn't really talk to you about this because I'm going to be kind of probably the one in charge of mostly cleaning him because I'm real real all about that um but I'm not going to clean him while he's in the stall and getting adjusted um because it has to be with like um his previous owner told her she uses like um gentle cleansers like that or I think you would choose oil based, so like baby wash and stuff, because you have to, that cut is thick and sticky. 
Good boy. So I don't want to overwhelm him. That's also why he's in the stall is because he needs to get used to our sounds before he goes into the pasture. And we just want to work with him more one-on-one -on -one so he knows he's okay. He's obviously very skittish right now because we pulled him out of his environment. You know, he's not used to it. And I'll say it time and time again, this is the worst part about <clears throat> pulling animals is even though they might be in a horrible situation, we're pulling them from what normal is to them. And even if our situation is better, it's not necessarily that our situation is better in his case. But even if you think like the worst of the worst, like Stella, like even though her situation was awful, they pulled her from her normal. And so that took some adjusting, obviously. And even Ziggy, Ziggy came from a great situation, but he took a lot of adjusting. But that said, so that's where Angel is special needs is going to need the extra cleaning. He'll also need to be sheared, but that's not a problem because we shear the alpacas. And we're also going to implement, um, we saw your comments about how copper is not good for sheep. And so me and Ellie talked about this briefly. We'll probably talk about it some more, but I think it was just a very obvious quick answer to how we're going to do this. I think we're going to feed him separately. Um, yeah, we'll figure out a way. I think we're just going to feed him separately. I think he'll go feed the littles, and I already feed Ziggy separately most days. Mm -hmm. And so while I'm feeding Ziggy, Angel can come in a different pasture with me. He'll have his special sheep feed, and that way he gets a full tummy, and he's not suffering because he does have a disability. And I'll feed Ziggy and angel in a different pasture and it'll angel is still probably if he were part of the feeder he'd probably still bully hero over the food <sighs> well we'll see to... we'll see we'll see how that goes okay i'm gonna try to go up to him okay ellie's videoing so if he's shaking too much actually you don't shake <laughs> <laughs> you're like yes ellie's videoing <laughs> hey, buddy, it's okay i know you're scared it's okay Poor angel. So they're faster than goats. <laughs> this one I've, uh, That's why we got to get them friendly now because we won't catch them if so we try also, to tame them I down. I don't have the... any food in my hand either. That probably doesn't help. He's, I don't, he's very stressed. I'm going to see if we can go get him some treats, um, some like sheep targeted treats. That... His previous owner texted me this morning and she was telling me she don't want her name revealed. So I'm not going to say it, but she told me that about the she told me the exact brain to feed that she gave him and stuff like that and what i could do because awesome. she watched the video and read the comments and i don't think that our goat food has a lot of copper in it anyways but just to be safe we can get um i think it'll just specialize help. i think it'll help overall just separating him too he he'll we'll make sure yeah. he always has a full tummy because yeah, yeah everybody always has a full tummy but i feel so bad for him like i don't want him to have to fight like hero Hero is perfectly capable, but Hero plays the victim. <laughs> Hero plays the baby because he is the baby. He because is a baby. he was babied. Hero's Say a little what baby. you want. He needed that attention, but now he plays the baby. He's a little baby. He's just a baby. This is this is gonna take some time. And, and my idea is just to sit in sit in here with him for hours. That's kinda what worked with getting cup and cake accustomed to our house. Yeah. So. It's just going to take some time. Because I don't want to have to keep catching them. I just, he, she should just be used to me sitting right here for yeah. however long it takes. <clears throat> it just takes time. But he's so cute, y'all. Mm -hmm. He is the cutest. Hello. Oh, I'm going to fall over. Hi, baby boy. So you can see on his neck there, that's the cud. Um, that will get clean. Don't worry about it. Um, I just don't want to stress him out in his first... Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, you guys. Good boy. You gonna lay down? Are you trying to escape? I see a cat in that little... <laughs> Did you see the movement, right? It's, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a cat. It's probably Olga. You said Olga was hanging out with them. Yeah, Olga came in here last night and she was... She's trying to get warm. Laying in all of his hay and stuff. Oh, Lord. Oh, he also, because his jaw is off center, he grits his teeth horribly. And it, <laughs> the sound is awful on the way home. That was like, it, it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. But Mr. Angel is doing great already. Um, this is part of just moving an animal is not friendly right off the bat. Because even Ziggy was like that. Um, 
but yeah, um, I'm excited for this. I we really hit the ground running for yeah, new, 2024. On the first day of the new year, we got a new rescue. Rescue, and this has been planned for a while. I know we've been dropping little teasers uh -huh. about it, but I'm really happy to have him here. I think he's going to be a great addition, and I'm glad that we're able to take a load of stress off of his previous owner's mind with him being here in a very safe, controlled, happy environment. And it's going to be great, y'all. I'm excited to see his journey. I hope that y'all fall in love with him just as much as I have. And I will catch y'all next time with another video. Bye, friends.